breaking news tonight, hospitals in crisis. The U.S. Navy hospital ship arrives in New York as Lady Liberty looks on. Comfort arrives by sea as treatment tents are built on land. With intensive care units nearing capacity, New York's governor has a warning. There is no American that is immune. What is happening to New York is not an anomaly. Supply shortage. Nurses and doctors desperate for masks as California's governor is outraged over more than 100 broken ventilators. What's the federal government doing to make sure equipment is getting where it's needed? Stay home. As federal guidelines are extended for another month, three out of four Americans are ordered to not leave their homes. Why a top official warns the death toll could still reach hundreds of thousands. Nursing home danger, eight dead in a New Jersey home for seniors as hundreds test positive in homes in Maryland and Tennessee. What's being done to help the most vulnerable? Economic catastrophe, the stark warning, the unemployment rate could reach 32%. Tonight, struggling restaurant owners on why the relief bill may not be enough. Lessons from South Korea, testing, tracing, and treating, plus an app used to save lives. What America can learn about containing the spread. And close to home, a beloved CBS News colleague and journalist taken much too soon, how her spirit lives on in what we do. This is the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell, reporting from the nation's capital. Good evening and thank you for joining us. We begin tonight with breaking news with intensive care units in New York City overwhelmed today. The U.S. Navy sailed the hospital ship Comfort into New York.